What's up, everybody? Let me tweet this out. I'm gonna tweet it out. What's going on? Punk go for what's going on, Fox Lord and Fox here. Nine Jinx. Hey. Hey everybody. Let's see. That's the butt butt. <laughs> Took the bone from in front of the door. I go get something to hold it open. No, nah, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. What's it's up? like he never chews on it, and he goes to chew on it now. Dude, he he does stuff like that. <laughs> I, I think he does that stuff to, just to spite me. I like how my skin looks. So nice. Probably because there's actually light in here. Okay, good. I I want to make sure I, it, that it like I was wearing a tank top, and not like I was wearing a bra, and it does. So that's good. <laughs> you look great, babe. Yeah, yeah. I just didn't want to be the girl on here. Like, ooh, she's wearing a bra. And that's it. You know, just anyway. So, Alachia said that in Texas, they used to pay 10, they used to pay a dollar for 10 limes. Now, limes are 50 cents a piece there. That's crazy. Check, check. All right. Check. Oh. Oh, are we doing a check yet? Oh, man. Who's Not slow yet. today? That's okay. I am. Who is slow today? Me. I'm slow. I'm slow. Okay. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand. It's Buddha's birthday. Yay. <laughs> Buddha Fi? No. Actual Buddha. That's why Fox Lore is able to be here. Because he's oh, on yeah? vacation. That's awesome. And in then Jinx. It's been waiting for you for a few weeks to get live. Yeah, we have some people who aren't normally live. It's awesome. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Sorry if we look a little haggard today. Yeah. Mobile low bandwidth simulcast of this show available on Alpha Geek Radio. Using your mobile device. Are you still playing Dominion? Am I still playing Dominion? Punk Gopher asked you. You mean Banished? Oh. Or do um, you mean Dominion? Dominion the, um... Board game. Yeah, we haven't played in a long time. Man, I haven't played that in like a year almost. We played it once. We didn't play it again. Not that it wasn't good. Renee doesn't like competition. <laughs> I'll play though. I mean, well, she 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 prefers not to compete. All right. Let's see. Am I still playing Dominion? Punk Gopher asked you. You mean Banished? 
Oh, or um, Demi Dominion. Dominion the, um, all right, cool, 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 cool. All right, I know you're ready. Because you're always ready. I'll put on my headphones so I can really be ready. Hey, chat room, Alpha Geek Radio, what's going on with Valentine's? It's the Valentine's. Oh, we're not groovy. Oh, it man. Is. I f- forgot to take that part man, out. Man, I had a name. Oh, man. It's going to be a short show, guys. Short show. But I'm not going to say it on the live recording, but just letting y'all know. Hey, we don't have a lot to talk about. <gasps> Excuse me. Um. Mm-hmm. That was so funny you did to find my iPhone. That was hilarious. Uh. All right. How about that? I don't know why. All right. Let's do this. Renee Valentine. All right. And it begins in three, two, one. Mobile low bandwidth simulcast of this show available on Alpha Geek Radio. Using your mobile device web browser, go to mobile.alphageekradio.com to tune in now. Coming to you from Louisville, Kentucky. It's the Valentine Cast with your rapping couple, Jay and Renee Valentine. <laughs> Today is Monday, May 5th, 2014. And happy Cinco de Mayo, my fellow tat poolers and Valentine listeners and everyone else that's under the sound of my voice. <laughs> and this is episode 156. What is ha- going happy on? Happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. I saw the sink in them. I saw the mayo in the sink somebody put on face- Facebook and they said happy Cinco oh, de Mayo. I thought I put I thought I, I thought I left mayo in the sink or something. No something earlier today. Oh you oh you thought I was talking about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty funny. But no. <laughs> so I hope everybody's doing great. Like I said, this is episode one fifty six of the Valentine cast. I'm Jay. That's my lovely wife Renee. Hey. What is going on? And we're so glad that you're here with us this lovely evening. It's hot. It is hot here so in I, good old Louisville, Kentucky. I started my OMG is hot. Oh. Um, rant. Yeah. And let me say, um, it actually has started sooner because I think you have, you know, because you're gestating. Yeah. So I get definitely get hotter than usual. So I don't deal well with heat. So I start to get a little whiny and complainy. Uh, so that's the interesting part. So Jake gets to deal with that. Congratulations. Yeah, and then when I offer to turn on the um, um, air. I say no, because I don't want to waste money. And then she gets really grumpy and stuff like that. So I have to say a special thanks to the folks at um, Pre Lights Music for allowing us to use um, their music. Also, the folks over at Andrew Allen Trio for allowing us to use the music during the show. I want to say thank you to Core Natural. Mm-hmm. You know, they make some fine product over there at corenatural.com, some some natural soaps and stuff like that. And I uh, just want to say, you should check them out if you're looking for just something to treat yourself. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. And also, want to say hello to the chat room. Hi, What's, chat room. What is going on, everybody that is listening? Today, we have with us. We have Fox Lore. Hey, Fox Lore. He's here. It is Buddha's, it's Buddha's birthday it's over Buddha's, in China. It's Buddha's birthday, so it's so a vacation. A, so he's able to join us. So I'm, it's good to see him. Is there a special name for Buddha's birthday? I just like BB, Buddha's birthday. BB. But we'll ask Fox Lore. Fox Lore, let us know if Buddha's day has a special name. <laughs> and if you have to give him a present, because, man, that would suck. Uh, JB Hanna is also here. What's going on, JB? Hey, JB. 
Uh, Moo Hogan and Zobby are here. Yep. Moo Hogan, he's finishing up some salmon. That sounds good. Mm. Salmon. We haven't had salmon in a while. We haven't. Um, also, Ninjinx. What is going on, Nin- Ninjinx? Ninjinx. <laughs> What's going on? Ninjin KX. This is. Uh, I think it's Ninjin KX. Ninjin. 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 Nin- nine Jinx. I'm gonna say nine jinx. There's no e on the end. What do you mean? There's no e on the it's end. N i n. Nin jinx. Is that what you said? Oh. Okay. But he's he or she. I had to correct myself. He or she has been waiting to get into the chat room, and they made finally it. They made it. They Hello. Made it. Uh, Punk Go for seventy six is here. What's going on, Punk? Hey, Go Punk. Punk. And uh, Valentine eight six six, who is a visitor. Hey, what's going is on? here. Hello, Valentine 866. And I just got a message from Mr. J.K. Grammer said that he's almost home. Yay. Mr. Oh, Bert, we the, know what that means. Mr. Bert, hey, he's going to get a call regardless. I know. That's, a, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. And also, um, hello to you listeners out there on the Alpha Geek Radio mobile stream. Thanks for tuning in. Um, so, yeah, I guess we should go ahead and do you want to get into a, a little bit of the weekend wrap up, babe? Let's do it. We, 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 we can wrap up. That's how you people say it, right? Oh, Hando. What's going on? Thank you, sir. Um, so this weekend um, was a big weekend here in Louisville. Um, it was. Well, not just Louisville. Can I just say, can, can, is it just Louisville or is it Kentucky? Kentucky. Okay. Louisville, mainly. No one cares about the rest of Kentucky. Right, right. So, Excuse me. Sorry. So this weekend was the 140th Kentucky Derby. Kentucky Derby. Did I say Kentucky? <laughs> you did, but I love it. I said Kentucky? <laughs> Kentucky. No, I, just, I didn't. I just want a whole bunch of freaking turkeys running down the track. Okay. I'm going to have to go back and listen to this. Back at <laughs> five minutes. Awesome. Five minutes and 45 seconds. To see if I said Kentucky. Can the Kentucky Derby. Well, the, the the Kentucky Derby celebration started about two weeks ago right. with the um, uh, Thunder Over Louisville. Mm-hmm. And then after that comes two weeks of Kentucky Derby related events, including the Great Steamboat Race, the Pegasus Parade, the Balloon Glow and Race. Et cetera, et cetera. So there's multiple things happening over there. There's galas, there's balls, celebrities are in town. And uh, and that all comes to a head on uh, the Phillies don't get, get as much love, but the Phillies race. Uh huh. They do that on Friday. Right. Right. They race on Friday, and everybody wears pink a lot to those. Mm-hmm. Um, and then on Saturday, the boys race. Right. Uh, sometimes the Philly is in the Derby, but it doesn't happen a lot. Right. That is uh, cool. And we did not participate in anything Derby related. We didn't. Um, we took the opportunity while the while the shops were low <laughs> and not many people were out and about, and we took care of things around the house. So right. we got some things done. Some things done. Um, we actually we were so beat from last week that. Um, we didn't even go to free comic book day this year. I know. And we haven't missed free comic book day for a long time, but yeah. we just, we just didn't go this year. Yep. I just want to take a moment and say, Hey, to Del Cador. Del Cador. Del Cador. You know, I, that's you, how I say it. Well, you know who Del Cador is, right? You don't oh, remember, do you? No. From Nebraska. Oh, hi. She's Del from Del Nebraska. Hi, remember? Del Cador. No, I don't remember anything. Babe. Okay. So you remember the, um, Year we went to um, um, Nerdtacular. Okay. And you were sick. <laughs> you remember that one? To remember. Yeah. It's the, okay. So you remember when we, met, when we left, we were leaving the movie theater, and she had the blonde hair. And I was really sick. You were really sick. But we also saw her last year as well. Okay. And she hung out with us. Oh. I think I remember. So I don't know if I should say her name or not. No. Online. No. <laughs> so no, wait, no, no, no. I know who you're talking about. I know who you're you know what I'm talking about? Okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I oh, know. that Nertacular was so terrible when I got sick. Right. That was terrible, Jay. Right. Anyway, 
But, yeah, and it's kind of cool because you know our, our one our also um, famous listener. All of our listeners are famous. Um, Punk Gopher, he's from Nebraska as well. Woo! Yeah, it's surprising. There's only like ten people in Nebraska. Uh, what? Oh, it was eleven until I left or something. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kidding. It's just Nebraska's cool. It's just very very flat. I know. I actually. Um, Ninjix is from Nebraska too. Wow. That's what's going on, Corn Huskers. Wow. So we have three Nebraskans in our feed, the, in our chat room today. The Corn is, Huskers are representing which today. Is crazy. And y'all are taking over. And you know, I know, I know a little bit about Nebraska. You know, a little bit. I know a little bit. I lived there for seven years, and actually, it's odd. Yesterday morning, when I was laying in bed. I was thinking about, I was trying to navigate from my old home in Nebraska to work and try, and taking some of the bypasses and stuff. And mm-hmm. I was trying to remember, I remember 27th Street, the Walmart on 27th, they had the Sam's beside of it. Okay. That went up to, I think that was uh, I-80. I think that's I-80 that runs east and west up there. Okay. Uh, and I was trying to remember, I was trying to remember how... Um, how um how I got around. I remember, you know, you know, I think it was because I talked to someone from the the state office building um last week. Remember, mm-hmm. I was talking to her and seeing how everything was doing. She yeah, said it was yeah. kind of rainy and stuff like that. And you know, there's some times where I'm, I miss some. I miss Nebraska. You just miss a Runza's, tiny bit. Don't you? I miss the Runza. Gross. <laughs> I miss um. Village Inn. Village Inn has some awesome pies. Um, Better than pie kitchen pies? Yes, and, and they're cheaper. Cheaper's good. Yeah, and then they're just as good. They have a mixed berry pie. And they don't have as many um, pies as so- assortment. They have like, they have strawberry rhubarb. They have um, the <laughs> mixed strawberry berry. rhubarb. Yeah, I love that. Oh, is so it strawberry rhubarb? I love strawberry rhubarb pie. Yeah, strawberry rhubarb pie is good. Too. <laughs> I love strawberry rhubarb. Um, and then um, there's just a few things that that were pretty. pretty I just cool didn't like the runs. It's way too much meat. Right. I mean, I like a good hot pocket. Right. As much as anybody. Right. But you have like a millimeter thin bread, and then you just have blah meat. Yeah. Ground meat, but um. So I'm going to go ahead and say, run, um, Punk Gopher said he's going to bring some runs for um, mm, for you for Thanksgiving. So I'm going to say please, because it's been it's been. Do since, they travel well? Well, I, he may be able to get them frozen, maybe at the store. Is it? No, they don't have much at the store. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. That'd be funny, but I do want to say hi to Udella and Diddy. If Udella's here, so is Diddy. They came in the chat room. Hello, Udella and Diddy. Um, I didn't even know it had cabbage. It had cabbage in it. Um, I didn't even the know one you had, had did not. Okay. Okay. So a homemade runza. Oh, a, if you make it at home. Homemade runza has burger and cabbage in it. You know? Okay, ground beef and cabbage. Right. Cabbage. Right. So hey, you Della and uh, Diddy. <laughs> you have no excuse. I have tons of excuses. Uh, you have none. So. Yeah. But anyway. And we also had Aaron. And Aaron just joined us. What's Hello, going on, Aaron? Aaron? Yeah. So, um, man, Runs what were we so talking gross. about? Oh, we were talking about the Derby. Talking about the Derby. Um, so, California Chrome. California Chrome is a favorite. Yeah. And I didn't know. I think that was one of the names I knew. That and I can't remember the other name. Uh-huh. I knew, there was a, everybody was talking about California Chrome. So that's how I knew about that a lot. They were also talking about how they had spelled the name wrong when they first got here. The um, yeah, they spelled it was the N A I on his silks. It was it was N A I, right? Yeah, it, it, it was California. Yeah, Nia Chrome. So, uh, okay, I've been to Churchill Downs before, not on Derby, but I've been before. Yeah, it was it was um it was two year two or three years ago. Two or three years. And, and it was a May. It was about this time. Right. It was it was Memorial, Memorial Day. Memorial Day. And we took Uncle Edwin. <sighs> so tells me that wouldn't happen now. We had we but had <laughs> we had we had family time there on Memorial we Day. We did have family time with the creepy mascot. And I don't mind horse racing. It bothers me when they whip them. Right. I wish they would outlaw it. There's no reason for it. It's like docking 
dog's tails and ears. I don't like it. And I don't like when they whip horses. So, yeah. but um, the horses are the horses are nice to look at. But I didn't look at it this year. I didn't. We were busy watching TV. So yeah, we were nice. watching TV and playing some Diablo. But um, mom also came by. I know. Mom did something amazing for me. Uh, she spruced up my garden out front. She weeded a bunch of weeds. She cut down my bushes. Bushes. She cut down my azaleas because I hadn't cut them down and they were just sticks. And she planted some hostas for me. And Jay loves hostas. So he, I do. He was not complaining. So I, I just want to give not. a big thanks to my mom. She really... She really relaxes, and uh, she says therapeutic. It is therapeutic for her. So I just want to say thank you so much. Yep. Uh, since it would have taken me so much longer, and I wouldn't have got done to the end of the season. And I would have so, been like, and if it was me, I'd have probably been like, "Babe, we can just put mulch out there. We have the, <laughs> we had the pre pre that. God, I cannot per- perennials. I cannot talk tonight. What is going on? Can't yeah. Me. So anyway, the perennials, perennials. <laughs> were um, are out. It, it's green. Yeah, they're green. Yeah, it is green. The <laughs> hosses are up, and all the you other know. flowers. I have no idea what they are up. So you know, and and, and your tulips are coming up. My tulips are coming. So up. so I'm like, hey, that's good. I'll put some mulch down, and we're good. And um, so, so I'm she's a- even gonna come over and do my annuals for me. Yeah. Which is exciting. How much money are we going to spend on annuals? Not a lot. Okay. I'm just, I'm just going to get a couple trays. Okay. This year. All right. Last um, year, cause I, I got I, like a lot last I, I'm year. with you and I'm trying to save money. I know. I know. But I want a little bit of color. I'll okay. probably get a couple trays. Okay. That that won't be more than 20 bucks. Okay. I'm not going to go crazy. Okay. Your look was like, I could get the really cheap ones, the petunias. I was just smiling at you. I can't smile at you. God, you're so mean to me. Um, and, <laughs> and so I mowed a yard um, this this week also. And, and actually this time I caught the clippings this time. And I have a section on, on the side of my house. Not the house, but the, the, the shed out back, the power shed and stuff. Um, and I have a I have a area where a bunch of weeds are starting to grow. So I caught the clippings from mowing the yard. And I'm actually using that as a base for some mulch so i'm kind of being you know a little green here oh look at you and That's exciting and i'm and i'm using i'm using my grass clippings for mulch i know a lot of people do that but i usually just you know i have a truck you know take it off and everything else so um did some yard work myself and and we did we did it and everything else and then one of the other things i did this past week was my oldest daughter um who's 17 she had a project and um her project was to get a family tree and so i did a family tree for for my 17 year old as far back as i could talk with my mom and my dad and my grandmother and everything else and it was kind of it was real cool you know talking to my mom and dad and i actually when i talked to my grandmother um i got real far back to um um uh great 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 grandmother mm-hmm. who was actually sold into slavery her name was Mars Moore and um she was um her husband was Columbus Morris and they had Dolly Simmons who was the mother of my grandmother okay um but it was it was kind of cool going back and, and we're well, not going back, but yeah, it, well, it was going back, and it kind of has made me want to um, try to do some um, um, ge- genal- ge- ge- God. genealogy. Can I quit now? All right, y'all. We're, we'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> Jay, Jay was to quit. I can't talk. No more show. Valentine Cast is our last. <laughs> podcast ever um genealogy and everything so <laughs> uh, but i don't have time to do it right now and plus everybody's like oh you can go to um what's it um ancestry.com ancestry.com and all of this and i was like that's going to take time and it's different for black folk i think now some black folk can tell me i'm wrong but <laughs> 
I mean, it's harder because slavery records weren't kept nearly as accurately as anything. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So that might be a little harder to do. Right, right. Alex Haley was able to do it, but that's because he put in so much freaking time and money. It's ridiculous. Right, right. So, um, yeah. But that, would, but that would be really cool. I wouldn't mind uh, doing it. Um, yeah. So, right. so, but I think it's really cool that you found that kind of stuff out. Yeah. So um, that's pretty much the wrap of what we did this weekend, except what we're going to cover in games and stuff like that. So um, with that, I guess, Renee, maybe we should get on into a little bit of uh, the uh, media. Let's do it. Media, movies, books, comics, TV. All right. So um, our movie that we had to watch last week was Little Black Book. And what was Homegirl's name that was in there? Uh, Murphy. Um, Bridget Murphy. Brittany Murphy. Okay. We were, you're, you're so close. So close. But Brittany yes. Murphy, she actually died last year or the year before. It was the year before. Yeah. She died of a drug overdose. Yes. Uh, but this was actually better than I thought it was going to be. I actually, didn't know. Actually, it was 2009. Oh, wow. She died a long time ago. Um, I didn't know what the movie was going to be about, mm-hmm. but I thought it was really interesting. Um, uh, basically, she was, uh, you know, trying. It was almost like a trying to find herself and her purpose kind of story. Mm-hmm. And I like the twist on, at the end, and I like the characters that Spoilers. people are playing. Is it a spoiler to say that you said twist, a twist at the end? But it is 2004 though, so. Yeah, that's a 10 year old movie. So it and is. Some of the technology, I guess, was accurate for, ni- for 2004, right? So it would be a twist at the end, and it would be a spoiler because um, it would, it would, you, you would be saying it's not the ending that you would expect it to be. Okay. Well, sorry, spoiler. Well, but no, I mean, you're I fine. Apologize. But apparently in 2004, everybody had a palm. Yes, that was that awesome. That was the big thing, a palm. I don't, was it that way 10 years ago? Yeah. Everybody had a palm. Like not was, everybody like had a palm. If you were in business, palm was what you had, right? Oh, yeah. That, that's that's how you, that's because how. Because the iPhone wasn't out yet. Right, right. <laughs> right. So the, so the palm was the, the next. Palm was it. The palm was it. And the Windows, um, was Window, maybe the Windows phone was out. It's 2004. Maybe the Windows phone, I believe. That was so funny. So, well, the BlackBerry was also out, too, yeah. in 2004. So, Palms, so Palm Pilots played a very, very, very... Uh, ha- they had a strong presence in the movie. Right. So, But I thought Brittany Murphy did a good job. She's and She was super cute. I loved her in Clueless. Um, so... The movie was bad. I gave it three stars, which is yeah. good for us. Yeah, so. it, it was a good movie. Enjoy. It was, um, it you know, it wasn't full on, um, um, um what was that um, rom com? Yep. Had had Stu from the big from the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> yeah, that was the comic crazy. book store dude who still looks the same. He, he looks the same, so, except his hair got cut. Yeah, that's it. Yep. So. <laughs> It was funny. Yeah. So we enjoyed it. It's it, it's a good little fluff movie if you're just looking for a fluff movie. Yeah. But, you know, dude, I mean, it, it, I, I still think it was a pretty good movie for what it was. You, you know, and it, I don't know. I, I thought it was pretty good. You know, if, if we could have gave it three and a half, I would have I would have gave it three and a half. And so then after we watched that, um, we watched a few shows of... Um, well, I actually finished up season one of Real House. Oh, they have um, more than one season? Well, I think they're in season two, but oh. I finished up season one of Real Husbands of Hollywood. <laughs> and I have to say, it was pretty good. Um, it, it was funny. Um, there was one part in there where they were talking about prenups. And they were talking about who all signed the prenup and who didn't. And then they... Um, <laughs> They got to Boris, um, Boris Kojo, who's a, who's a, a attractive man. He's a pretty man. <laughs> and there was like, Boris, you didn't sign a prenup? He was like, no, who's going to leave me? <laughs> that was funny. That was pretty funny. And there was one episode he had no clothes on. He's, he was like, my body was, because he had to go, because they had to go out. Um, he had to go out in the middle of the street 
butt naked to get something. Right. And Boris said, I'll do it. My body was made, was born for this or something, was made for this. You know? Boris Kojo is, and the, the, the show is fake reality, but it's so, I find it amusing. I find it you, funny. You think I don't like watching it, and I don't know why you think that. I don't know. But. So, I I enjoy it because, and I enjoy Boris more than I thought I would. Because he jokes himself, you know, and he and he plays that that uh, <laughs> cocky, good-looking guy right. that can feel like he can say whatever he wants to say, <laughs> but, he, he, but he knows he's wrong for saying it. So that was really good. That was pretty funny. Um, you know, there was a little, there was a little twist in there, and then it, it was uh, it was pretty good. I, I really, I really like that. Yeah. So there was Real House Husbands, and then we also watched um, a few shows of um, Undercover Boss. We did watch a few shows of Undercover so, Boss. I forgot about that. So we watched a few shows of Undercover Boss, and here is how I watched Undercover Boss. As we're going through the show and we're watching it on Netflix, I, um, as the bosses are meeting different people. I guess what that person is going to get at the end of the show. Because everybody gets compensation. Because everybody gets compensation. So if a person's sitting there talking to somebody and somebody's like, oh, I was going to culinary school and this, that, and the other, and I quit to go work so I could help my mom out and everything else. I was like, he's either going to go to the culinary school of the job he's at, if, he ha- if they have one, or they're going to send him to school and they're going to give him some money to help his mom out and boom that's what happens that's what happens and then somebody was you know and then someone was like you know yeah i took on my grandson and he wants to go on a vacation but i don't have time to do it i was like oh they're going to walt disney world but then she said he told me he wanted to go to washington dc i was like oh let me revamp that they're going to washington (laughs) dc it's funny so we watched uh the cinnabon Undercover Boss, which made me want Cinnabon. Yep. And we watched... Uh, rallies. Rallies checkers, and Checkers. Which made me boss. want Rallies and Checkers. Do you watch any more? Um, we Where's watched Oriental more? Trading Company. Okay, Oriental which Trading is, Company. Which is in Omaha, Nebraska. Which is, which is why you were wanting to see it. Yeah, yep. And um, i like to try to watch the Popeyes one pretty soon, mm-hmm. maybe. You know, <laughs> I love that you're choosing all the places we like to eat. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I know. Um, and I don't always watch them because they're so predictable. But yet, it's yeah, they are. The Undercover Boss, actually, the rallies one. That first no, yeah, one, yeah, that was first a little one, unpredictable. Yeah, that was unpredictable. But most of the time, you but, have it down to a science. But you have to admit, though, that's so is Hell's Kitchen. So is Hell's Kitchen. Except for Amy's Who's gonna win? Except well, not on oh, not Hell's Kitchen, but um, um, Nightmare Kitchen, Kitchen Nightmare is, is very is pre- predictable, predictable. Except for Amy's Bakery. That was very unpredictable. That was very okay. unpredictable. <laughs> so um, we watched that. And then we got on a serious note, and I finally worked up the nerve to watch Bully. Yeah, um, the docu- you had a hard time with this one. The documentary on bullying. Um, and it was, a, it was a rough documentary to watch. Um, me, um, you know, growing up, um, aside from some of the kids in my neighborhood who were um i can't think of a better word um if you look at them now um <laughs> I, I can't i i what I, I don't even know how to say this they're not two upstanding folks now right. right now and they you could tell that these kids back then when we were growing up they were going to be these kind of folks and they grew up and I had those kind of folks that kind of bullied me around, but that was because I was afraid, <laughs> you know, and they wanted, they wouldn't want to fight. And I, I wasn't a fighter. You know, I'm, I am that guy, even though I had a big size and stuff like that, you know, I would, I would joke to get out of, to get out of a situation. Oh, okay. So you were able to joke. I were able to joke or, or pick fun and, and right. kind of get out of a situation. Now. Okay. Yeah. No, go ahead. Oh. Now, I wasn't bullied much. I was teased. Right. Teased for my stutter a lot. 
Right. I was teased for the gap in my teeth, and I was a little clumsy. I did actually get straight up bullied when I was in fourth grade, mm-hmm. and my bully, this is gonna sound crazy, was a third grader. That's not so crazy. And it shouldn't. It's, it's a little embarrassing because she was a year younger than me. No. But she wasn't taller than me or anything. She was just mean. Right. She was so freaking mean. She used to pull my hair because she, I think, I, like people use this as a thing, but I think she really was jealous. Of your hair? Yeah. I, she, she used to pull my hair. Yeah. And I, I mean, my I would daughter. Cry, and I was so non confrontational. Yeah. My daughter, um, she had that done to her as well. Yeah. You know, and, you know, she had her, she has her, yeah. her curls are tired than yours. Yeah. And, um, well, my hair was was it straight. It, it was in braids, but um, and it was—I mean, it was bad. This like went on for for o- over a few months, maybe. Oh, and wow. I finally came home crying. Mm-hmm. My mom was there because my mom was usually there because my mom was at work. Right. But so she finally got it out of me, and my mom went to go talk to the other girl's mom. I think I can't remember what happened. I can I can't remember if it got worse. See, that's what I'm talking about. I I, I, I think am, it got worse, but I can't remember. I'm telling you, I am going to be that parent that will not hesitate to go to another parent. Right, even if it gets worse. It, I, I I will make sure it won't. Yeah. I would try to make sure it so won't get worse. It, it was embarrassing for her to go to the other mom, but I can't remember if it got better or worse. But I, but it was it. I hated walking from the bus because I knew it was going to happen every time. It was terrible. Oh, blah, blah. But that was, that's the only, th- but I know that other, other people have it worse than I did. Right. Some people actually got beat up to the point where they had bruises all over them. So, um, bullying is never good. So the, the, the documentary was hard for both of us to watch, yeah. but it was important to watch because we're going to have kids together. Right. And we need to know, A, what to do if they're bullied. B, what to do if they're the bully. And Jay said he's not standing for that, and I wouldn't either. Right. Oh, I'd be so mad. I'd be livid. So My kid's bullying somebody. I do want to take a moment right now, because I know um, Geek Mm Daddy-O, Mr. Mike Andrews, is listening on Alpha Geek Radio. Oh, awesome. But our thoughts are with him, because he is stuck in a car waiting for a tow truck. Aww. That sucks. Yeah, man. So good luck to you and, and hope you get home safe. And that is, that is something minor, man. We hope it's minor. So, um, yeah. So, so bully. So, hey, we have uh, we have some shows that we want to roll for. We have no handle, but Renee's going to roll for us. I am going to roll for us. Yep. And the numbers Ooh. that she is going to roll is going to be between sixty three. Okay. And 161. 161. Hey, we're on a roll with watching our movies, yep. y'all. 74 is what we have. All right. 74. 74 is going to be bleh, The Pianist. The Pianist? Yep. Have you seen that? No. Who's that by? Uh, um, that's, uh, the one that, that's the one that won the... Um, didn't that win, win some Academy Awards? It's the famed Polish pianist oh, to survive okay. the onslaught oh, yeah, of Nazi yeah. tyranny. Didn't this win some some awards? I think so. So, <laughs> why'd you say blur? Ah, uh, because I don't. Um, so you it, might end up liking it. Two thousand and three, best director. Okay. Best actor, best, and it was a nominee for best cinematography, costume design, film editing, picture, and writing adapted screenplay. In said great show, you'll love it. In guaranteed. I'm, pr- guaranteed I'm pretty sure right I will. There. I'm pretty sure I will. Um, so yeah, they won a they won a couple of academies and stuff like that. So good on them. But um, this is one that actually this is kind of like um, this goes in the category of Green Mile, you know, because I haven't seen Green Mile. You know, I've seen the bits and pieces when it's on AMC or or some other channel, you know, and I've seen it when you know um, uh, Michael Duncan's you know the the flies the, the bugs shoot out of his mouth or something like that we we really need to watch that yeah we really do yeah it's almost like it's like 
that's that's my sh- um, Shawshank Redemption. I've seen it all the way through now. Right. But there was at one point where I had. And everybody else and their mom had. And everybody else and their mom had because it was always on TV and everything else. And, you know, so I finally got to sit down and, and watch it. So it's kind of in that category, you know. Hey, but I've seen Forrest Gump, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> Some people actually hate that movie. I found out there are people in the world that hate Forrest Gump. You know, Gump. I can see that a little bit. Because some people may think it's picking fun or it just doesn't make sense and, and everything else. But, but you know, anyway. Um, so then Sunday, um, we watched uh, Game of Thrones. We did watch Game of Thrones. Uh, so, no spoilers, but I like how they're going away from the books. And that's not a spoiler, okay? I'm just putting it out there. It's not. Well, babe, it's already, I mean, it's in a book. I mean... Mm-hmm. It's yeah, in the book, so. I know, but still, I'm not worried about it. Yeah, so I like how they're going away from the books in some aspects. It it makes it so I don't know what's going to happen sometimes, mm-hmm. and it makes it kind of cool. And uh, but I like I kind of I kind of like what they did, and I saw how they're getting it back towards the books now. Right. They just did a little, you know they they put a little bit more uh, danger and a little bit more interesting stuff in this one. And mm-hmm. uh, so yeah, I am liking. I must say. The scenes, I like the scenes in King's Landing best of all. I don't know why. Maybe, right. maybe because every, everybody's in pretty close. It, <laughs> uh, no, I'm glad you said that because <laughs> I didn't want to say that. And I almost said that last night. And I didn't want you to feel like I was picking on you or being sexist. Right. But I think because it's that medieval Downton Abbey here are the houses, how it is in the kingdom. I mean, you love that stuff. Yeah, I you know, like the drama. The, yeah, I like the drama and and uh, Marjorie. I love her. I think she's so cute. And uh, so yeah, so I I actually enjoyed this week. Every week, it's it's it, it's a good thing. I like it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, and then we watched Mad Men after that, and yeah. I mean, it was. It, things are moving yeah, things on are Mad moving. Men, so it was so it isn't as boring as Jay said. Right, right. Um, and then I'm also reading a book. Everybody gasped <gasps> because um, this is a book that Bronco has told me to read a long time ago. Um, the name of it is um, "Someone Knows My Name," and it's also it's a book by Canadian artist. I mean, author Lawrence Hill. Um, it was originally published. Well, in Canada, where it was first published, it was called The Book of Negroes. Um, And then in order for it to sell well here in America and and Australia and other places, they had to change the name of of, The Book of Negroes to Someone Knows My Name. And so I I did a little research um, because Renee, when I told Renee what book I was reading, um, she she thought I was joking a little bit and I was like no nah, I'm, I'm not joking and so the story behind the title this is from the author himself he said he used the book of Negroes as the title for my novel in Canada because it derives from a historical document of the same name kept by British naval officers at the end of the American Revolutionary War it documents the 3,000 blacks who had served the king in the war and were free, fleeing Manhattan for Canada in in 1783. Unless you were in the Book of Negroes, you couldn't escape to Canada. My character, an African woman whose story is based on this history, has to get in the book before she gets out. In my country, few people, his country is Canada, Mm -hmm. few people complained to him about the title, and nobody continues to do so after I explain its historical origins. I think it's partly because the word Negro resonates differently in Canada. If you use it in Toronto or Montreal, you are probably just indicating publicly that you are out of touch with how people speak these days. But if you use it in Brooklyn or Boston, you you are asking to have your nose broken. When I began touring with the novel in some of the major c- U.S. cities, liter- liter- literary, literary, li- literally, African Americans kept approaching me and telling me it was a good thing indeed that the title had changed because they would never have touched the book with its Canadian title. Right. And like uh, in said here, here in Canada, the word Negro doesn't hold the same pain as it does in the U.S. 
And even saying Negro, it's like, you know, I feel it. You know, yeah. even, even even me just saying it. Right. You know, and it, and, it, and it feels like, oh, you know, feels has a negative feeling whenever I say it. Right. So, um, but yeah. So, so how is the book? I, you've mentioned that you liked it. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Um, I, I will say, um, with my daughter asking me to get the family tree stuff together for her, that kind of drove me. And and Bronco and I have been talking about it lately because he told me he shared an article with me that they're actually filming, um, the a movie version, mm -hmm. a, a movie based off the book. And um, Lawrence Hill is there, and he's you know, they're 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 getting it done, and they're filming it in Canada. And I was like, man, I'm, I'm trying to get this book read before it comes out on BBC, you know. And so I'm, I'm excited to see um, what's going to happen there and everything else. So I mean, I think it's I think it's a great book. Um, the, again, the name of it is "Someone Knows My Name." If you're here in the United States or if you're outside of Canada, that's the title. That is under. Um, if you're in Canada, um, it is it is called the Book of Negroes. So, um, and then what else do we do, babe? Uh, we actually played some video games. Oh yeah, we played some Diablo. Uh, so here's here's my Diablo update, y'all. Every class but one is at seventy. Yay! And the one that's not seventy is the class that I kind of wanna play the long way just because i'm weird like that but so, so my monk is like 30 something 20, right 20 something but uh finally got our, our my crusader up and this was one of the ones i liked the least so it was tough to get up so jay how did we do this how did we well how, are we trying to get me in trouble no all it's right exploit no, I wouldn't exploit. It's not an exploit. You so there are some. So we did bounties and adventure mode up to. to no, I mean this is what this is what we were doing. Yeah, bounties and adventure mode, but um, we were doing them straight up. You know, we were doing them all and everything else, and getting the relic caches and everything at the end. And then um, I start fooling around, and I came across there are um, there are a couple. Um, <laughs> there are a couple bounties that do not require you to kill anything and you still get XP for them. <laughs> so there's a, there's a, um, bounty in act five and then there's a bounty in act two that all you have to do is get to the area and start it. Sometimes you have to survive. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you can teleport back. And get credit, and sometimes you you can't. So it was like log off, log off, like like join game, leave game, join game, leave game, join game, leave game. It was yep. a lot of that. But yep. then when we get something, it's like, yay. right, yeah. So so the thing was to put it on torment six, and then you reap the one thousand six hundred percent XP reward. And I don't know what it was. I didn't like about Crusader. I didn't feel strong. I didn't feel tough either I mean, you're not strong or tough it's like but what do you have left you know well i mean you start you are strong and tough i mean it's just that you know there are some things you have to do and there's certain certain things i mean my my crusader the crusader is almost like the like a death knight in wow mm -hmm. you know um when you first get into torment one stuff you can go in with you can have all yellow gear or all rare gear on your crusader and survive now you can't do that with some of your other classes so um the crusader is a little bit more forgiving when you start doing torment than, than the other classes mm -hmm. but you know some folks find it boring and stuff like that um and then also the fact that you know when you do use um the two-hander um you and for in one in one hand um so you yeah. run you run 20 percent slower or 10 percent yeah slower. and i mean i have the shield and the two-hander i just i felt like i wasn't doing enough damage i was in there whack 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 and then i could use my special ability like see, three I times that i was done see, and i, was I like, think Man. that's it um that is one of the complaints that they had with crusaders is their long cooldowns and that's one of the reasons why i use blessed hammer that spins around me um the ray of heaven 
and then um, I did um, the justice where I throw the hammer and it splits mm-hmm. off and it hits everything else. So I mean, it's kind of kind of what I did with my Crusader. So uh, I have some different builds that I do kind of run a little bit, but uh, but my monk is still my favorite. Um, I actually got the four pieces of Ashira's um, um, gear today. So now when we're fighting, you will probably see my followers come and help us. Right. No, my followers what? come and oh, help us. Oh, yeah. While we're fighting. Yes. In, in a group. Okay. The Templar. Oh, the, those the, followers. Yeah, my Templar, the wizard, mm. and um, the um, scan, scandal, scoundrel. They can come help us? With my four-piece gear, they'll come and they'll assist us. For how long? Uh, I think it's about 30 seconds, maybe Let's 20 cool seconds. Down. Oh, it just happens. It's just a oh, chance oh, on attack. Oh, oh, okay. It's yeah. a random chance on attack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'm really, really, really enjoying it. And I um, want to say hello to Hando and N um, and JK Grammar um, also have showed up. So. Yay! So yeah, yeah so the, the, that's our Diablo update. So we're, uh, Jay is farming to get mats, and I'm just playing because I like playing my witch doctor. It's my favorite. So oh, it's yeah. fun. Oh yeah. And you got a new game? I did. Um, so we were doing um, um, gaming at the dark, and I've been so busy that I forgot that um, Super Mario um, World Golf, <laughs> Super, uh, was it Mario World Golf Tour? I think that's it. Sorry, I laugh because you have this thing with golf games. You right. Just can't let go. Right. Um, so Mario Golf World Tour is is the game that I got. And it came out on Friday and I am enjoying it. Um I just found out before the show is that um, Scott Johnson and they're doing, um, well, the Tadpool or Frog Pants, they're actually doing a tournament. Mm. So we can do these tournaments where everybody can come in and, you know, you can play, you know, these these community tournaments and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. So I'm really excited about it. Um, I still need to go through and, and get my... Um, my handicap. I haven't had time to get go through and get my handicap. So I've got to play some holes and stuff like that, but I haven't had a chance to do a whole 18 holes to get my handicap because we've been watching TV and everything else. So it's it's really good. I had some credit from GameStop and then I had some other 3DS games that I traded in. Mm-hmm. And so I took care of that and I was able to, you know, come out of there only paying like Oh, and plus I, I I renewed our um um power plus or power power up membership, so I ended up paying like seven bucks. So, yeah. So I mean, this um some folks are saying it's not um the same game that um some people may think from a long time ago from two thousand and four. Um, but I'm 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 excited to to play some more. So, so yeah, if you have a 3DS and you love golf games like I do, go check it out. All right. And you want to talk about the Simpsons Easter event? Yeah, I did. It's been going on for, I don't know, two weeks, but I'm just now getting around to talking about it. The Simpsons had their Easter event, and I am less than impressed. Uh, they had the whacking day around this time, but they didn't have the whacking day this year. They had the Easter event. And it's a month long, a month long, three week long event or something like that. Oh, no, it's, it's been like going on week. since right before Easter. It's going on forever. So, and so much of it is random. And so much of it is, you're not going to get everything. Right. It's, it's so freaking ridiculous. And most of the time I love the events because you know what you're probably going to get and what you're not going to get because they cost donuts. And the random thing is cool, but when it's this much stuff you know you're not gonna get it makes me sad yeah i mean so i mean you know i mean this is like the event that i needed to kind of get me to calm down on playing the damn game yeah i'm, so not, I'm I, not gonna lie so maybe it's a good thing <laughs> so i'm kind of like eh, you know if i miss it i miss it oh well um so babe do we want to go into food or do we just want to go ahead and jump into odds and ends we can go into odds and ends i just and i just we... want to say uh join the facebook.com lose it group at facebook.com slash group slash frog pants lose it. 
All right, so let's go ahead and um, get in here for a little bit of Mr. Feisty. Whoops. That's not going to work. Yeah, let me start that again. Uh, how, how about that? Odds and ends. So, let's talk about some birthdays. Woo, birthdays. <laughs> what up? What is Hang on, like, uh, here we go. That was, yeah. What is going on, Mr. Grandma? What's going on, y'all? It's a perfect day for you. Oh, man. Happy yes. Cinco, Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Caballo. That is and, awesome that your birthday is Cinco de Mayo. That's amazing. So, I know. They just, have, they just have a big celebration for I your know. birthday. Lots of beer for you. <laughs> and margaritas and margaritas there you go so that's awesome so if for those on the line we have with us jk grammar from the 10 Ford podcast and today is his birthday happy birthday thanks <laughs> yeah so i have to ask uh-oh how much are you paying for limes down there are the, are, are the prices of margaritas going up you know what i heard y'all saying something about that when you first started recording what what is the deal i haven't heard this so What's the story? i heard this on npr and uh, let me do the prices. So the price of limes in Texas has gone from you could used to get 10 limes for a dollar. Now each lime is 50 cents. And elsewhere, limes were 35 cents a piece. Now they're a dollar fifty a piece. What and the what's going on is that the cartel there it's a two it's a two prong thing. The cartel, the Mexican cartel moved on on the lime groves and they took over the lime groves. <laughs> And so the Mexican government was fighting to get them back. And so no limes are being exported. That's so weird. Yeah. And they finally got the cartel out of the lime groves, but it's going to be a while before the price rebounds. Also, there is a disease called greening, which is causing the limes to, you know, be, to be totally destroyed. So two things. That's why limes are terrible. And just in time for Cinco de Mayo, um, I heard people are, are like uh <laughs> you know they're trying to do they bet, different they margaritas eat, like lemon margaritas yeah uh, you better use lime juice <laughs> that's not right lemon margaritas that's not right yeah. no just just use lime juice no well well i'm sure lime juice has gone up in price too mm. like real lime juice if you use fake lime juice that's what i'm talking about <laughs> what what's the stuff that's in the little plastic bottles that look like limes is that real or is that fake lime that, juice that that's real lime juice that's the, that's the stuff you get you that's, get it real quick they're probably not jacking the prices yeah, up on that. Yeah, it's not up now yet because it's not fresh. Yeah. But um, yeah. the price should normalize a bit, but it'll stay a little high. So limes, I don't think limes will go back down to where they were for a long, long time. So so uh, I want to talk about your birthday. How was your birthday? What did you do today or what do you have plans? Well, I just I went to work today. That's pretty much it. But <laughs> I do uh, too. I go to work on my birthday too. <laughs> Which I, I couldn't remember. I was telling somebody about this earlier today. I said, I think it seemed like I used to work somewhere way back when where you actually got your birthday as a paid vacation. But well, I mean, it's just one day. It so it's not like, you know. Sure, that wasn't a personal day that you could take anytime you wanted. See, that's what it is. It's like really all they did was just say, hey, have a personal day. But right, I think right. they made it as a birthday. So you go, ooh, this company's great. Like, okay, yeah, that's all right, whatever. Right, right. <laughs> well, yeah, man. So you know how it always goes. If, All right. if I have you on Skype, you're going to have to sit back, relax, <laughs> and the Valentine's going to sing it to you. <clears throat> I think we did this last year, too. Uh, pro it, probably. Yeah, it, 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 I, had, I had barely just come to the, the, the chat room, like, I think it was my second week in the chat room. And you're like, hey, it's JK's grammar or JK Grammar's birthday. And you're like, All right, we're singing. I was like, Awesome. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear JK. Happy birthday to you. And many more. You sing so much faster than I do. I do? Yeah, you do. Does your family sing slow like that? Uh, They sing slower than you. I don't, I don't <laughs> understand. <laughs> I don't I, know. I, why are you Drake? Why are you? Because it's an amazing song. No. It, you, if you it's sing a birthday it, song. You, you don't want it, to sing it super fast. If you sing it slow, it sounds like it's a sad song. It is. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm like a sad song. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. No one's singing that slow. I'm just saying. How you sing? Singing? Happy birthday to you. That sounds sad. <laughs> Shall I say Happy birthday to you. That's way too Happy fast. Happy birthday. It's like, do, 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 do. Anyway, do, JK, do, do. it's your birthday. So <laughs> that's all. How do you want it song, JK? Do you like your, all right. Do you like so, it fast so, or slow? So if you sing happy birthday to someone, do you sing it fast and, and, and choppy like Jay did? You know, most of the time I, I'm singing it kind of ironically. So you're all kind of like, eh, 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 like you're purposefully trying oh, to. Oh, like you're. Oh, so JK, see, J, JK is like I was back when I used to, when I was a kid and I went to church and I sung in the kids choir. Well, nobody wants to really sing it like they would sing it because they're afraid people will go, man, you sing like crap. Right. I sing it. Hey, hey, hey. I, I sing. Even though I can't sing, I will sing loud. And I don't care what you think. So whatever's. <laughs> Aaron's Ar- the- Ar- cracking me up the tap. Yeah, so I have to say. Negro spiritual. Yeah. Happy birthday. Yeah, y'all, yeah, it's almost like you sing like a death march. It's not a death march. <laughs> it is. Well, it, technically, technically, it is a death march in. because every year you get older, it's Be one more death. step towards death. So. Well, that's just damn sad. <laughs> I don't want y'all singing happy birthday to me anymore then. <laughs> But hey, if you're celebrating a birthday, you're still alive, so that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah See, that's, that's good. good. Well, man, I'm glad that I hope this is many more that we get to sing to you on the show. I know. Man. I hope you're here next year in Cinco de Mayo. I hope so too. I, I know everybody. Oh, it's, yeah. it's kind of it's redundant to say, it, but you guys are awesome. And Aww. again, like last year, I hadn't hardly known y'all for any time at all. And you're like, yeah, I was singing Happy Birthday to him. Let's call him up on Skype and sing. I was like. These I have to be friends with these guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool, man. Well, we'll holler at you later, man. You take it easy. All right, man. Thanks, y'all. All right. Bye. See ya. So that's awesome. Yeah. Happy birthday, JK. It happened on this day. It did. But if it's your birthday this week, so we sing happy birthday to you. So. I may have to go back and listen. So if it's your birthday week and you're here, you need to say, hey, my birthday is such and such day. So we can sing happy Wait a minute. Birthday. Somebody else's birthday was today, too. Who? Wait a minute. I don't have it. Um, Hold on. Because when we got in the chat room. Somebody else's birthday was oh, today? Oh, wait a minute. It's Buddha's birthday. No, Well, I think it's, that's probably what you saw. Happy birthday, Buddha. <laughs> Buddha, you don't get a happy birthday. Buddha, Buddha. Buddha. Uh, uh, back at ass. Oh, Buddha. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Maybe not. Oh, sorry. Some, some I didn't mean to offend any Buddha. Sorry. I really didn't mean <laughs> I can't find my Buddha statue. I see I had a Jesus in the Buddha statue. I don't know where my Buddha statue is. I think it's in storage. But anyway, um, I do have a Buddha statue um, from when I went to China and stuff like that. Huh. Okay. Okay, I guess I'm just... Very cool. Okay, so anyway, Renee, who else's birthday we have? Uh, on the list? <laughs> uh, tomorrow's birthday, we're two people. My good friend Tyra, I've been friends with her since elementary school. Happy birthday, Happy Tyra. Happy birthday, Tyra. Oh, uh, let, me, let me say it like Renee. Happy birthday, Tyra. You're such an asshole. <laughs> And uh, Mike Schramm's birthday is tomorrow. Mike Schramm's birthday is also tomorrow. Happy birthday, Mike Schramm. Happy birthday, mm-hmm. Mike Schramm. My cousin Paula's birthday is Friday. Happy birthday, Paula. Happy birthday, <laughs> up, Paula. I hate you so much. <laughs> and my other cousin's birthday, Theo, which is weird because we don't call him that. We call him Teddy. We'll call him Teddy. Teddy's birthday is Saturday. Happy birthday, Teddy. Happy birthday, Teddy. Um, and then I thought these were on the list of that you had. Um, my uncle's birthday is on Sunday. You wouldn't have had that. Um, I wouldn't have had that, um, no. Mark, um, his birthday is Sunday, so happy birthday to you. Okay. And then we also have Sandy from my job. Her birthday is on Saturday. On Saturday. So Woo. happy birthday happy, to you. Happy birthday, Sandy. And then, <laughs> I'm just normally to, this is done before the show, folks. So no, I'm trying apologize. to see here. Dennis, just look at your events. No, I'm trying to remember who this guy is. His name is Dennis. Dennis the he's Menace. In, he's in Tadpool. Oh, I'm pretty sure he's in Tadpool. Birthday, Dennis. Um. Oh, DJ. DJ Stingle. 
So happy birthday to him. His birthday is coming up on Sunday as well. I think Toby farted. Toby farted. Gross. Wasn't me. But anyway, so those are the birthdays. So those are our birthdays for today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, everybody. And we didn't say this last week, and I was remiss to do so, and I even knew that. Um, Happy birthday to Brandon. Happy birthday. Happy anniversary to Brandon and Karen. Happy anniversary, Matthews. Last Wednesday was their third anniversary. Happy happy anniversary, Franks. Uh, Franks. And uh, it's awesome. Oh, and there are other birthdays. Quick birthdays. Elena Ray's birthday. Happy uh, birthday. Reggie's Ale- daughter. Who? Reggie. Happy birthday, Dana. Elena. Yeah. Uh, Elena Ray. And I want to say happy birthday to Nora, Kendra's daughter. And uh, Edison and Jensen also had a birthday. Her twin sons. So many birthdays. It's yep. awesome. So happy birthday, kids. Hey. Did I say hey to Hando? Hey, Hando. Hando's in the chat room. Hi, Hando. Hando snuck in. Hando snuck in. So what's going on, Hando? Hey, Hando. Well, I want to say thank you to the chat room. Thank you guys so much for being here with us. Woo! It's been awesome hanging with you all. It's time to watch 24. Yeah, we're going to watch 24. Like like everybody should. Yeah. So So I know Bucks is watching it, and I wonder if he's going to do his little dealio. Oh, yeah. That's right. He did used to do that. So um, we're going to watch 24. Um, Jack is back. I hope it's good. Jack is back. So um, we're going to, after the show, get this thing put together and thrown up on the website for everybody to listen to. Um, Thank you all for being here. I want to say a special thanks to um, the folks over at Black Astronauts Podcast, The Hush Show, Tin Ford Podcast, Nerd Parent, um, Mr. Mom Daily, Mike Andrews, Geek daddy I just want to say thank you to the chat room for being here with us. Thank you, Alpha Geek Radio listeners, for tuning in to another show of the Valentine cast. Woo! And we love you guys. But if you want to email us, oh, shoot, I want somebody to email us. You can do so. <laughs> We're terrible. At thevalentinecast at gmail.com. You can also see our blog at ValentineCast.com. The podcast Twitter feed, ValentineCast. The Facebook page is ValentineCast on Facebook.com slash ValentineCast. You can call us at 415-75-VCAST. That's 415-758-2278. Video can be seen at YouTube.com slash ValentineCast. Jay's Twitter feed is the cowboy. That is spelled T H E C A O B O I. And my Twitter feed is the ice flow. All right. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, I thank just, you, thank you. I just checked the email. We have no email. Well, we did get an email from Hope Man Ross 12 at Q.com. And he said, Did you receive my last email? Darn it. We're terrible. No, I didn't. Sorry, dude. But no, that's not someone that wrote oh, in. It's good. spam, babe. Good. I was like, oh, crap. We forget everybody's email. And we did have a comment on our website. It said, hmm, is anyone else experiencing problems with the images on this blog loading? I'm trying to find out if it's a problem on my end or if the blog. Any feedback would be greatly appreciated. Shouldn't have any problems. Yeah. So, so that's another spam comment. Mm. <laughs> but hey, um, anyway, thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for listening. Go check out all those lovely other podcasts and be excellent to one another. Yeah, um, be very nice to This one is Mother's Day weekend it for is. those. Um, remember those that may not have their mothers with them. And remember those who don't have a close relationship at all with their mothers. Exactly. And it could so... Uh, so, and I know how it is. The happiness can get overwhelming when you don't have your mom or you don't have a good relationship with your mom. So um, I will yeah. be remembering you all. Yeah. So um, we'll be thinking about all the mothers out there. We'll also be thinking about all the children out there that don't have that close relationship or don't have their mothers with them. So I'm just a lot of love to you all. But um, we'll talk to you later. Have a great week. Bye now. Bye.
And as N says, don't forget to be awesome. Oh, that's a show. That's a show. We did it. We made it another week. Woo! It was awesome sharing our little bit of life with you guys. Oh, let's see. I was breathing to the mic. I was breathing to them. <sighs> like that? Yeah. All right. So let me see what I said. Five minutes and 45 seconds. All right, everybody. This is where Renee said I said Kentucky. You so said this. Here we go. Okay. Louisville, mainly. No one cares about the rest of Kentucky. Right, right. So, Excuse me. Sorry. So this weekend was the 140th Kentucky Derby. Damn it. Kentucky Derby. <laughs> Told you. Why would I say you said Kentucky Derby and you didn't say Kentucky? <laughs> you should play it again. That's awesome. Uh, Kentucky Derby. Kentucky Derby. Kentucky Derby. Kentucky Derby. I, 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 I sound like the chef off of um, <laughs> you off the Muppets. <laughs> and you never said it like that before. Babe, I don't know what the hell's going on today. <laughs> yes. Derby. Yes, I'm busted. <laughs> but you know what, Punk Gopher? Mm. Since we're going to be here for Thanksgiving this year, maybe we'll make a Kentucky turkey. And said, you say birthday too. It's cute. It's birthday? adorable. Birthday? You, you don't say birthday. Birthday? Birthday. You say birthday. Well, that's not. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be straight up. That's not up. a Kentucky. That's not a North no, Carolina thing. No, I'm going to be str- straight up and honest on this one. What? That is a, that is a speech impediment. <laughs> oh. Because um, when I was going to. You don't say your THs? When I was taking speech class, I, I, I didn't say my THs. Oh. Um, and then also. I didn't really notice that. And then also with my S's, I wouldn't. My S's, it was C and say. Oh, you would TH your S's. Yep. 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 You don't do that anymore, though. You um, know, maybe every now and then you might th your s's. Oh yeah. Um, uh, we're we're so well matched. I have a speech impediment. You have oh, a speech yeah. impediment. I, well, well, you knew that. Yeah, you said you had a list, but I don't even hear it anymore. Yeah. I might have heard it when we first talked on the phone yep. a little bit, like mm-hmm. a tiny bit. I stuttered a lot because I was nervous. All right, Alpha Geek Radio folks. So Bye, Alpha Geek Radio folks. Yep, let me get you guys back to your, to the other, to whatever is playing now. Where is that screen? There it is. Uh, 156. AGR. Channel 2. Let me we, in. We didn't explain why, why we, we never explained like why we're the couple we are. I don't even know why we're the rapping couple. And I was in the show. Yeah. <laughs> Why were we the rapping couple? You gotta tell me now. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna do a rap after. You were. Yep. Then I forgot. <laughs> we suck. Uh, That's pretty damn funny. So have you have you shared your picture with folks? What picture? The transformation from ten to sixteen. Weeks. No, I haven't. You can you right. can. So check it out, everybody. So Renee yeah. Renee was. See you, Injinx. Bye, Injinx. So that's ten, and open these up in your browser, and you can flip back and forth between them. It's really funny, actually. So you just flip back between the two tabs. <laughs> It's funny to do it because it's like blah, blah. Whatever. <laughs> it's funny though. Well, you like blah. I mean, like you're like you're doing. If you you're trying to do awesome flipping, powers or something. If, I mean, if if you're flipping, what if, what if somebody grew that much in a week? That'd be hilarious. So if you do that, and that's the same freaking TikTok, by the way. It is. I'm still, I'm, I'm still wearing it. It's it's not as low, but I'm still freaking wearing it. I'm wearing it, damn it. I'm wearing it. 
So that, that's the funny part. Oh, Aaron, share that with um with the misses. Yeah, you can share it with the misses. If anybody wants to see my progression, ValentineMom.com. I put all my stuff there. I don't plaster my stuff on Facebook. There are a lot of people who mobile low bandwidth. It makes them sad. <laughs> There are makes, a lot of people that are mobile low band. It makes them sad, and it used to make me sad. So um, I have no problem putting my stuff on a separate uh, website so people can view it there. So I have no problem doing that. Mm-mm-mm-mm. The city is trying to tackle 7,000 abandoned homes in Louisville. Oh, yeah. Crack down on abandoned houses. They say cut down on crime. You know what I forgot to do? A million things. Start the video recording. Ugh. But I have the unedited one. That's so. n- that's nice. I'm glad you could do that. Yeah. Let's see. Switch accounts. All right. Um. Wait a minute. Nope. 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 Not that. Sorry. Wrong account. What the hell? Oh, thanks, Ann. Ann said I'm rocking the pregnancy. I mean, I'm all right, I guess. It's not terrible. One day, I might blow up like a balloon. It it could totally happen. Damn I've seen it. it. I've seen it happen. Like overnight, so it could totally be me. Bye, Zabi. Bye, Moo. Is this... What's wrong? Ah, damn it. Now I'm hungry. See, this is what I'm talking about. This this normally doesn't happen like this. Oh, there it is. Hey. All right. All right. So I already exported. I need to launch iTunes because my PC restarted. Um... Da, 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 da. Oh wow! Triplets, yeah. It, I heard that is tough. I heard that's even, I like that's crazy tough. You rapping couple. Now I gotta find something to do. Oh no! Just put anything up, man. <laughs> you gotta find nothing rapping. It should be fun. Let's see. Hey guys, if you see Show me how to do things. Show you how to do things. With our love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Show you how to do things. Stop, 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 stop. Show you how to do things. Stop. 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 Oh, I thought you were going to stop. me. Well, no, no. I haven't taken a picture since freaking last week. Crap. We had to take a picture last, last week. I was taking a picture. What are you talking about? Do I have a picture on my phone? I don't even have my phone. See, do I have a picture? Oh, that's awesome, In I assume she had a uh, C-section. Oh, we have that? Yeah, I use that. I have, it right, I have that right here. Let's see. I think tw- think tr- triplets are almost always C-section. At Valentine, 56. Podcast. Oh, oh gosh, I'm tired. I wonder if we're going to be able to watch um, 24. It's two hours, right? Um, With commercials. It starts at 8. We can skip through commercials, but I don't know. We can we can either watch it tomorrow. We don't have to watch it tonight. Well, we can try. <laughs> I need to take his trash out too. Yep. Episode create MP3 version. Creating minimize turn off drag there. Ooh. All right, everybody. I'm going to kill the feed. Yeah, we're um, going to go. You guys have a great week. And we will talk to you all later. Bye, everybody.
Bye, everybody. And there's the off button. Bye.